Hello students, welcome back. Let's take up the next question. So the next question is a numerical from electricity chapter. It goes like this. The value of current I flowing through a given resistor of resistance R for the corresponding values of potential difference V across the resistor R as given. Plot a graph between current I and potential difference V and determine the resistance R of the resistor. So let's draw the circuit diagram first. So here we have a resistor R which is connected to a source of potential difference V. And here we have an emitter in the circuit to record the amount of current flowing. Now when this resistor is connected to a source of potential difference V, a certain amount of current will flow in the circuit. And it is observed here that in this experiment, when there is an increase in the value of potential difference, there is a change in the value of current which is taking place. So these values are tabulated in this table and we see that as the values of the voltage or the potential difference goes on increasing, there is a change in the amount of current. So using these data, we have been asked to find out the resistance of this resistor and we'll find out the graph, corresponding graph we have to plot uh, taking these data. So here we'll solve it using Ohm's law. That is, V will be directly proportional to R at a particular temperature. That is, if the temperature remains constant, voltage and current will vary directly. So if there is an increase in voltage, there will be an increase in current or voltage or V will be equal to IR where R is the constant of proportionality and is known as the resistance of the resistor. So V by I will be a constant value R that is always the V versus I or V divided by I value will be a constant and that constant value will be the value of this resistor. So in order to find out, let's first plot these data in this graph. So this is a V versus I graph known as the VI characteristic graph. VI characteristic graph. So let's start plotting these values. So when the voltage is 0.5 volt, the corresponding current value was noted as 0.1 ampere. So this is the point 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 1, 0 0.2, so 1 and 0 0.2 lies over here. Then is 1.5 and 0 0.3 over here. Then 2 and 0.4, this point. 2.5 and 2.5 is over here and 0.5 ampere current then 3 volt 0.6 ampere 3 volt 0.6 ampere is over here 4 and 0.8 and 5 and 1.0 so this is the graph now if we join these points we see that the line comes to be a straight line and this straight line is known as the this value gives the resistance of the resistor this resistor value will be given by this straight line and this line is always a straight line for ohmic conductors that is the conductors which obeys ohms law that is if we increase the potential difference there is an increase in the current and vice versa so for an ohmic conductor this line will always come to be a straight line now using this curve how can we find out the resistance now we know here that v is equal to ir from ohm's law so r will be v by i so if we find out the difference in potential and the corresponding difference in current and then divide them, we will find out the value of the resistance. So let us take any two values of potential difference that is V2 minus V1 we will do and the corresponding value of current I2 and I1 will divide it. So V2 let us take, uh, let's take this one. If we take 3 volt, 
okay so 3 minus let's take v1 as 2 2 volt so 3 by 2 minus so for the voltage 3 volt what was the value of corresponding value of current it was 0.6 so let's write down 0 0.6 minus i1 so for voltage v1 that is 2 volt the corresponding current value was 0.4 so that is 0.4 so it comes to be 1 by 0 0.2 that is 10 by 2 which is 5 ohm so the value of this resistor comes out to be 5 ohm okay so this resistor value is 5 ohm and it will remain a, a constant that is you will get 5 ohm each time if you take any other two values of voltage and the corresponding values of current and divide them do try it for yourself so this is the answer to this question that the value of resistance is 5 ohm we have plotted the graph it comes to be a straight line which indicates that it is an ohmic conductor and the value of the resistance is 5 ohm so you try for yourself taking any other two values of voltage and taking the corresponding values of current divide it and see what the value of resistance is coming to be and let me know in the comment box if you get 5 ohm each time so this is all for today i hope i have made this clear to you thanks for watching